meet 20, seventh green arrow in a row, let's go. That's right, our seventh green arrow in a row. The average this week was 42 points and we scored 57 minus an eight point hit um, which obviously then gives us a total of 49 points that we have gained and that brings our total to 1214 points. We've moved up from 215,000th to 209,000th and our squad value is 107 million. Not gonna lie, this week was very frustrating. There was games on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday night and we started off well and finished quite terribly really. In the first game, West Ham versus Crystal Palace, Antonio scored us five points. We're off to a good start. However, Suchek scored two goals in that game and got three bonus points, scoring 15 points that he was on our bench, which is annoying. So for the re remaining nine games, we were just hoping that someone in our team wouldn't play. The second game was Leeds versus Newcastle. Leeds won 2-1, Bamford only scored one point and got subbed off after 59 minutes. In the third game, Southampton versus Arsenal, we had no players, but in the fourth, West Brom against Man City, wow, that was a 5-0 win for Man City, and we had Cancelo, Stones, and Gundogan. Cancelo scored us 17 points with a goal, assist, two bonus points, and a clean sheet. Stones scored a 6 with just a clean sheet and Gundogan scored us 14 points only playing 51 minutes with 2 goals and 3 bonus points. Man City have got 2 more good fixtures coming up so we're hoping for big hauls like this one. We also had Johnston in this game and we put him on the bench and he only scored 0 points so that was the right decision. However Fabianski who we had in goal in one of the previous games only scored 1 point anyway. We haven't scored too well with our goalkeepers this year, but we are thinking of getting Martinez back in, but we don't really want to do it yet because we don't want to take a hit. On Wednesday, Villa lost 3-2 to Burnley, but Target got an assist, scoring us four points. We had no players in the Chelsea Wolves game because the week before we transferred out Zuma and under their new manager, Tuchel, he didn't even play, proving that that decision was a good one. We are thinking of getting back in James or Chilwell, uh, but we're going to see who plays more under the new manager first. We had no players in the Brighton v Fulham game either. In the Everton-Leicester game, it was 1-0 and we put Justin on the bench and he only scored us one point anyway. Us and the rest of the world, it seemed, Captain Fernandez because Man U were playing Sheffield United and he only scored us two points. At that point, Man U were top of the league, Sheffield United were bottom. Bottom Beat top, 2-1. Fernandez only scored two points, doubled to four. What is the whole world doing? And in the last game, Tottenham v Liverpool, we had three players. Son, Kane and Salah. Son only scored two points. Kane got one because he got subbed off at half-time due to an injury. And Salah only scored us two. We really needed them players to score highly for us so that it would boost us up the ranks. Son and Salah both got goals, but he got ruled out by VAR. That is how close we were. Also in that game, we had Robertson. We put him on the bench and he only scored two points. It was a tough decision to make because we knew Robertson could score really highly, but we thought he probably won't. We now have to decide what to do with Kane, but I'll come on to that shortly. Now on to our cup game. If you remember, we were playing Van der Beeker, who was 44,000th in the world. We ended up winning that game 49-37 to once the hits were taken off. That was a really important game to win because he was a lot higher in the ranks than us, so we were pleased that we won that. Our next cup match is round five against William Dollar Baby. He's just over two million in the world and his team looks like this at the moment. Last week he got 57 points, same as us, and his team looks quite good, so might be in for a tough round. We can't see whatever transfers he's made at the moment, if he's already made any, but we'll be able to see after the deadline, so then we'll know exactly what his team is going into this game week. Now in our mini league, we dropped from 7th to 8th 
And we are only 40 points off the top three, though. There are now over 200 people in our mini league. If you want to join, then use the code below. Andy, the goalkeeper from Hashtag United, has now joined our mini league and he is currently sitting in 10th. Go and follow him on YouTube if you haven't already. The top three are, in first, Andy from Let's Talk FPL or on the back burner with 72 points scored this week and 1,341 overall. In the world, he is now 989. Second is 20 Legend with 71 points scored this week and 1,262 overall. And third is a new entry, Mitrovic for the win, who scored 65 points this week and now has 1,254 overall. The top score this week in our mini league was Team Techers FC with 98 points. He played his bench boost and his three Man City players he had scored him 45 points. The three West Ham players he had, including Suchek, scored him 25 and he went up 800,000 places in the world this week. That just shows how much you can move up with a good score. Well done to you, Team Techers FC. Now onto our team for game week 21. With Harry Kane being out injured and Mourinho saying he could be out for maybe like four weeks, we're really not sure whether we just stick him on the bench for them weeks where he's out or transfer him out and get someone else in. If you remember last week when we got Kane back in, we said we're not going to transfer him or Son out for the rest of the season and we might be going back on that already. We've already got Antonio and Bamford up front and the next best striker with good fixtures is Dominic Calvert-Lewin for Everton. They're playing Newcastle, Leeds and Fulham in the next four fixtures. So maybe we transfer him in for Kane and then bring Kane back after them four fixtures when he's hopefully fit. So our lineup is going to look like this, but we might um, put Kane on the bench and play Bamford instead or sort Kane out for Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Johnston plays in goal against Fulham instead of Fabianski because he has a good fixture. In defence, Cancelo and Stones against Sheffield United. Robertson against West Ham. Son against Brighton. Fernandez against Arsenal. Salah versus West Ham. Gundog versus Sheffield United. Suchek versus Liverpool. Antonio against Liverpool. And Bamford or Calvert-Lewin. Bamford against Leicester and Calvert-Lewin against Newcastle. We think we're going to captain Gundogan and then have Son as the vice-captain. On the bench we have Fabianski, Bamford or Kane, Target and Justin. We've got until Saturday at 11am to do all of our transfers, so make sure you get yours in by then. Thanks for watching guys, good luck this week. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Bye!